the NZ function. Remember in our outer join lecture, when we did an outer join between the client and payments table relative to the client table, it would display all the clients from the client table and only matching records from the payments table. Notice Karen Day, J7525, does not have a record on the payments table. Therefore, her sum of amount field is null. Remember, null is nothing. It has no value whatsoever in that field. The problem exists when you try to create a balance. Karen has a charge of $100, total charges. If you try to subtract that from null, then the resulting value will be null. So basically, the balance field will contain a null value. How do we fix that? We fix that with a function called nz. The function has two arguments and two arguments only. The variant, which is the field that you want to evaluate, and the value if null. So if the field evaluates to null, then you will replace it with the value of your choice. And in this case, we want to replace it with a zero. Now again, this will not replace the values in the table itself. It will only replace the value for calculation purposes. So here is our balance due grid that we had in the outer join lecture. Notice now at the bottom we have NZ charges sum of amount comma zero. It will evaluate the sum of amount field in the charges table. If that field is null, it will use a zero in the calculation. Likewise, we have NZ payment sum of amount comma zero. If that field is a null value, then it will substitute a zero in the calculation. So if you notice now, we have Jennifer King that owes $200. At the top, Nancy DeVolio has a balance of negative 100, so she has a credit. Now we still have null values in the payments field, and that's fine for this class. But if you wanted to display a zero in that payments field, you could do the NZ function like, is shown, like shown below. It's the same query. I'm going to move this over a little bit and look at this. NZ, well, I give it a field name of charges, colon, NZ charges by client, exclamation point sum of amount, because that is the field name. I do the same thing with the payments. And now my balance due is just charges minus payments. When I run this query, now I get a zero for any payments that are null. Notice, though, I don't have it displayed um, as a currency, and the negative value has a, a minus in front of it. And we could change that formatting if we would like, but in this class, that is not our goal.